We're here with Elias Morton from Panther Basketball. Elias, thanks for joining us. Uh, thanks for having me. So what is your major at Florida Tech and why did you choose it? Is it something you've always wanted to do? Uh, my major currently is uh, ocean engineering and um, it wasn't always what I had planned to do. So when I initially came here, I was a civil engineering major. But uh, at my, during my sophomore year, I became interested in a specific uh, part of uh, engineering, like civil engineering is in coastal and port and harbor development. And our school is one of the few schools in the country that has the ocean engineering program, which would allow me to take more coursework in that area. So that's why I ended up uh, transferring. So what was it about Florida Tech that drew you here? Well, it was definitely the uh, chance to be able to compete at a high level in Division II basketball and uh, the quality of the education I'll be getting at the same time was a big draw. So how do you plan to use your degree after graduation? Currently, I'm planning on uh, pursuing a career in design engineering. So uh, instead of being in the field, I want to be de doing design work for ports and harbors, marinas, and uh, beach and shoreline re restoration. Do you feel like growing up near Jacksonville and then being here in Melbourne, has that kind of drawn you towards the ocean or was there a different thing that made you want to be a part of that? I definitely think it is. Um, both of my parents were in the Navy and uh, I've always been near water wherever we've been and uh, that's definitely had an effect on me and, and made me have a deeper appreciation for it. What are some of the projects that you've enjoyed working on in your classes here? Most recently, I was working on a project where we uh, were taking different design surfboards and analyzing their speeds at the beach uh, and trying to you know, draw a correlation between why some were faster and, and some were slower, how to increase acceleration and that sort of thing. That was pretty fun. Sign me up for that. I want to see what that's yeah, about. That's a fun class. <laughs> Once you get into season and you, know, you guys start in early November and it'll go into early March and you know, You've got the road trips, you've got practices during the season, you've got the month before where you get ready. There's so much that goes on. How do you keep a school sport balance once you're in season? Yeah, it can definitely get overwhelming at times, but we have you know a lot of uh, balances in place. You know, from before we're always taught like how to manage our time, how to communicate well with our professors about uh, the different things that are going to be going on, and. Uh, just staying disciplined as far as, you know, we already have to get up early to do athletic stuff, you know, taking advantage of that time and knocking out the schoolwork when you otherwise would be sleeping and just uh, staying as focused as possible during a very busy time. How has being a college athlete uh, prepared you for everything that you're doing now and do you feel like there's anything the sport of basketball has taught you that helps you with your studies? Definitely. Most important, I think I just mentioned it, was is communication. It's so key to be able to communicate with your teammates offensively and defensively on the court, and that's translated really well to communicating with uh, peers, professors, uh, other students, uh, faculty, and you know, it's had a huge impact on my success. What advice would you give to an athlete coming to Florida Tech that might want to get into ocean engineering? Uh, definitely take a look at the major. It's a uh, it's a very difficult major and has a lot of uh, uh, difficult math requirements and physics. So if you're interested in doing stuff in the ocean and combining that with you know some other typical things you'd be doing in engineering, it's it's a great field. But uh, there's a lot of things to do in ocean engineering. So uh, find out what some of those are, how you're interested in them. There's a lot of different clubs to join, uh, like the Naval Architecture Society. Uh, National Society of Ocean Engineers. So just get involved with those types of clubs, activities. Um, and make, make sure like you're uh, really interested in, okay, we're doing math and physics. And we'll get you out of here on this. What have you enjoyed the most about your time here at Florida Tech and what goals do you have for the rest of this season? Uh, what I've enjoyed the most has been uh, that family feeling I've had with uh, all my teammates. I've uh, really had a big sense of community since I've came here play a big part of my success. Goals moving forward is just win every game we can uh, and, and contribute to the team success in uh, whatever way it's needed for me. Well, it's been fun watching you so far this season. We can't wait to see what's next. Elias, thanks for joining us. Thank you.